What are the psychological effects of coronavirus on the elderly population? Um, Sarah, you've shared before, but thank you again for um, sharing on this issue. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, interesting. I, I just keep hearing about anxiety, maybe because of what's going on in the world. But when it comes to these psychological issues, like how often is it really rooted and tied to anxiety? I just feel like I just keep hearing it coming up over and over again. Well, I think you're hearing a lot of it because of Corona. Right, right. <laughs> and especially Corona, you know, we're so used to our lives being so orderly and so in control and we have everyone's schedule and we know and anticipate and, and put in our calendars everything that's going to happen. And now nothing is on that's on our schedule is happening happening like we want it to right, right. and our perfect little lives that we have just planned out so nicely are no longer going according to plans right. and that lack of control that and that lack of unknown because that's out of control i don't know how it's going to turn out is what's creating the anxiety and it's not the situation itself it's the fear of the situation that creates the anxiety and because right you're hearing so much about it because of Corona, because that's what's going on with yeah, Corona. Absolutely. And then, uh, and then another theme I keep hearing is the isolation that especially seniors are experiencing because of this mm -hmm. pandemic and quarantine. I mean, I keep hearing how damaging it is, but is it, is it really as bad as yes. we're hearing? Okay. Uh, yeah, it very much so is because of, um, you know, we, as people, we are social people. We are people that love to be with other people. We all have families or we have friends and we fill our lives with people, most of us. And when we can't see our friends or when we can't be with our families, it, it really makes us sad. There's also this whole idea of also, if you're not getting those um, emotional infusions of interactions and socialization, mm -hmm. you're not being challenged psychologically and there's also been known and, and I'm sure um, the geriatric professionals can speak of this how there is decline cognitively when people don't have stimuli during the day if they're home all day right, just right. watching TV they're not being psycho they're not being cognitively challenged their brains not getting enough exercise just like our body needs to be exercised right. our brain needs to be exercised and this might be an obvious question mm -hmm. but so having that physical contact or being in the room physically with someone is just so much different and better than interacting with someone on social media ah, okay and even through a glass window outside their home mm -hmm. is that correct just to give you yes okay. just to give you some perspective you know we're yeah. born as babies and hopefully mm -hmm. our moms were good moms and they took care of us and they were always hugging us and kissing us and holding us and as we get older hopefully we, we still had that infection and that love and now, as we're older, we're not getting affection. We're not getting love if we're isolated. And also, you know, even something as simple as looking in someone's eye, mm -hmm. you know, looking in their eyes, opposed to at a screen. You know, at a screen is nice, and you get people's expressions, and you kind of um, internalize the love that they're sending you through the screen. But when you look in someone's eye, you know, and you really see them face to face, I think yeah. it does enhance the psychological benefits of the social interaction. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, it sounds right to me. Um, well, once again, thank you for sharing and uh, thank you for watching. And if it's, this was helpful, then please press subscribe so you could see future videos.